morning, beautiful people! If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. As we promised, we will show you Lucky Land and what happened to our garden, to our vegetables. Yes. First of all, let's show them that the grass is still green. I installed uh, an uh, irrigation system that turns on every night. So even when we were traveling and uh, it was dry and hot, uh, every night uh, this beautiful grass had something to drink. <laughs> Some plants are a little bit uh, dry. Yes. We will have to give them a lot of water. And love. And love. But we are pretty happy with these maridim pines. I don't know if you remember, we planted these uh, seeds yes, last, we, last winter. Yes. Yeah. And we collect them, uh, I don't remember if in Calabria or in Puglia, but anyways, in, in sa south of yeah. Italy. And also, my avocado trees uh, are growing. Check them out. How do you call it? The nursery? The nursery. Wow, we have a little avocado jungle. Yes, they are getting bigger and bigger. I believe we should go and check out the garden and I think that we will need to pick a lot of zucchini, tomatoes and see if everything survived. Let's go together. Let me put my glove on. Please. A little wild. Every time we come back from a travel, a trip, the garden is wild. But I can spot some beautiful tomatoes here and on the other side. Should we start from here? Yes. Let's do this. I've seen this before. We, we left and they were green. Oh, oh. They're heavy. Heavy tomatoes. Mm. Here we have some batterino. These are so sweet. We love them. You want to try one? I will taste it later. Yep. Then there are another species, another type of tomatoes, they are Vesuviano, right here. Ooh. Okay. They have another shape. Yes. Look, I will show you. They have a like a drop. Yes. Let's go on the other side, we have the cherry tomatoes. Okay. It is interesting how the tomatoes, they grow close to the grave. <laughs> yes, you can see tomatoes here and grapes back there. So it's a big mix. Okay, let's start getting all of them. Wow, they look healthy. Yes. We haven't given any kind of uh, no, nothing. pesticides <laughs> or... Only our own compost. compost. Oh, no. When will the grape be ready? Uh, I don't know, probably in one end, month? end September or beginning of October. A few we'll weeks see. still. Do you want me to cook for you a tomato sauce? Yes. So we can keep it also for the winter? 
Yes. Uh, Otherwise, we will not be able to eat all of them. No. It's better to prepare something. We have our corn. We are almost ready. I can see some giants from here. There is a huge, amazing zucchini. Wow. Check this out. So this is what happened when we are not here. Yes, uh, they grow too much. Uh, they overgrown. They are not so tasty, in my opinion. And yeah. they are so big. Wow. Check this out. It's huge. So we like them when they are this size. See, these are the right size. Beautiful artichoke flower. Some of them have been attacked by some animals. So they are going directly into the compost. Overall, it's a little bit dry, but everything is still alive. You know what we need to cut also? The lavender. We have... Now it's the right time to, to do it. Check out the eggplants, Sara. Oh no, some animals. These nails, this luck. Ooh. Yeah, completely. <laughs> ciao, ciao, parmigiana di melanzane. Yeah. Eggplant parmigiana, I think uh, next year we. We have one. other two, but they're super, super small. Would you like to collect them? This one is too small. This one is really small. And this one is small. Small. And then we have other two or three there. Yeah, but they're all small. There are some seeds. We could use uh, the seeds for next year plants. Yeah, we could try. We call this uva fragolina because fragolina fragola means strawberry so this is the strawberry grape it's really sweet the zucchini suffered a lot yes but we have one here i think this is the right size yeah. we collect them okay better now we'll keep these flowers for the bees they love to come here and now let's make some sugo together welcome back to the Liu kitchen as I said before today we will prepare together pasta and sugo so first of all we need to prepare our tomato sauce fresh tomato sauce some shallot and some onion fresh garlic always from the garden and today we are using spaghetti kamut kamut means corazon wheat it's higher in protein and I find it really easier to digest so I love the pasta with kamut wheat first of all I will wash the tomatoes and then we will blanch them for about 20 seconds in boiling water. This operation will make them easier to peel. This is something that I don't do every time, but today we would like to have very smooth and creamy result, so we will eliminate the peel. a soffritto with extra virgin olive oil, some shallots, some onions and garlic. We'll add the tomatoes to the soffritto. We're adding some fresh basil, some salt. We 
we will not cook this amazing sugo for a while. Let's see the result after a few minutes. Then. I will let it cook for other 10 minutes and then I will blend everything in a very creamy and spectacular tomato sauce. Mm. Ready to blend. For a perfect pasta, we need to wait the water until it's boiling. Then we can add the salt. And after that, we can add the pasta. And guys, Italians, they don't break spaghetti to fit into the pan. You need to gently push them until they become tender. Until you have the entire spaghetti underwater. Otherwise, one part will be cooked, the other one will be not al dente, too much al dente. They become soft pretty fast. Yes. So you can also use a bigger pan, it would be yes. easier. We want our pasta al dente, so I will follow the instruction for this pasta that it means seven minutes cooking time. Our spaghetti are ready, and now we'll add the sugo. In total, I let it cook, it's still cooking, for 30 40 minutes. This is enough. If you want, you can let this cook for one hour, two hours, as much as you like. I love a lot of Parmesan cheese on top of mine. Now it's the best part. <laughs> the tasty part. Mm. Sweet? Super sweet. And we didn't add uh, any sugar. No, 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 nothing. No sugar, no milk. Only everything from our garden. Yes. Garlic, onion, shallot, tomatoes and basil. Only the pasta is that from. Yes. Buon appetito, mio amor. Buon appetito. I like it. Good job. beautiful people we are in Torino and I'm going to the hospital to the ophthalmico ophthalmologist I don't know in English the name because of this thing. it's not a sty some of you mentioned in previous videos Luca has a sty in his eye but it's a calazio so. yes I have this uh, since uh, February so many months now it's more red and big and swollen and we have we have tried to cure that with different medicines and yes. yeah but nothing worked so now i'm going to this hospital and see what they will need to do i cannot come with you baby you know no. you have no. to go by yourself <laughs> everything will be fine luca needs surgery Yes. basically we we went to the hospital where they it's the hospital for the eyes so they do complicated uh, surgeries and that kind of stuff when they first uh, saw my eye and what i need to do they say oh you can go to another hospital here we only do complicated surgeries then they check check it better and since uh, where they need to cut uh, to take off this uh, um, Calazio is uh, really really near it's uh, almost on top of this little let's call it pipe uh, where the tears come out uh, the operation is quite um, uh, not complicated but uh, they they need to be really careful because if they cut uh, this little pipe uh, 
where the tears come out uh, then uh, they will damage it uh, and uh, I will not have tears on this eye anymore so that's why they decided that uh, they will do the surgery in this hospital but uh, we don't know when since this one they told me that it's not a priority it's not urgent uh, they will start doing the urgent uh, surgeries and then they will take care of me so they have my cell phone number and they will call my mobile number yeah so we will need to wait i will need to come uh, the day before the surgery to do a swab then uh, the second day they will be doing the surgery and they will cover my eye and i will need to come the day after the surgery so they will remove uh, this uh this cover this band i don't know they will check everything so it's a three days thing here in torino okay but for now let's go back to lucky land yes i would like to show you something very important and very beautiful that happened inside our kitchen i don't know if you remember the mess that we have here inside so one of our many 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 projects is to clean and make this house livable 100 percent livable so we started from the kitchen we clean everything we have some pictures from before Can and after. after so i would like to show you how it was and now i will film how it is wait a second let me come here from this corner so you will have a better perspective ready guys Ta -da -da -da. Finally, you can see this table that is so beautiful, it was always covered with everything. And then also this area is cleaned, you know, the kitchen is white and black. So we went through all these details, cleaning deeply every corner of this kitchen. So what do you think, guys? This table is in uh, Jacarandá, which is a kind of wood uh, in uh, Brazil and uh, now it is protected, so you can no longer cut or use this kind of wood. This was many, many years ago when my family and I used to live in Brazil. So it's really beautiful and uh, it has a huge meaning for us. You will see now the kitchen like this. We would like to still add something to this kitchen. For example, here. Yes, we would like to add uh, a, another part of the kitchen uh, so we have more storage, uh, but uh, yeah. we still need to find something. Or we will build or... Yes. Or if we find the same, the same type. And also we would like to put uh, wood cladding uh, on uh, these two sides of the walls. Uh, we need to lift uh, this one over here because every time I hit my head uh, when I try to help every, Sala in the kitchen. Every time you cook, right? Yes, many. I always <laughs> cooking, so I'm always hitting my head. Uh, so I need to lift uh, and also I would like to put a pipe uh, that goes from here outside. Uh, so when we cook something... Uh, I like this plural. Do you okay. hit your head? Yeah, yeah. It's same for me, you know? Yeah. It's too low. Tack. 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 It's so refreshing to live in an environment that is clean, where you can find everything, not full of stuff. And I like the space, you know? I like how spacious this house is, and this house could be. So we'll have a lot of projects inside and outside this little cottage in the mountains. So stay tuned, but now we have to go outside because we would like to show you something that we received a few days ago. Unpackaging time. Any guesses, guys? We have two electric scooters. Uh, X7 Pro from Turbo Ant. 
folding electric scooters. We have two of them. So thank you so much to Turboent. We can wait to open it and then tomorrow we'll try it because this morning we went to Torino for Luca's eye. Now we need to, to charge the batteries. Six hours. And uh, tomorrow we'll be able to have some fun. And these are perfect for van life because uh, they're small, they're light, uh, and uh, if you have a small vehicle like we have, like Luigi, I think this will be a game changer for us. Basically you have the entire electric scooter in one piece unfolded. Then we okay. have uh, this little box. Ah yes, with the handlebars and the charger. Basically when you get the box of the scooter at your door house, the only thing that you need to do is lift and secure this part and then install the two handles. Super easy. It's almost ready to go. Yeah. We just need to charge the battery. Every tool it's already inside the box so you can install it with any additional tool they will provide you with what you need and that's it now we will unbox the second one then charge the batteries and we will see you tomorrow for the test ride and good morning from lucky land beautiful people we hope you are doing well we are ready to test our new e-scooter the both of them fit I don't know if you can see them down here because I put some blankets. So both of them fit under the bed. So this is super cool. Now we will find a place where to go and explore and use them to have some fun. Yeah, we are looking for a flat area mostly because these scooters are not made for off-road. And here at Lucky Land it's all uphill, downhill. We don't have so many flat areas where we can try and test them. And plus it it is uh, kind of raining up here, so we'll try to go down in elevation and find a place where it's not raining uh, to have a dry surface uh, where to test them. Okay. Ciao Lucky Land, see you soon. We have our helmets. It's not mandatory in Italy, but we both think that it should be mandatory to wear helmets while riding scooters. Better safe than sorry, safety first. We arrived at the lakes of Avigliana. Actually guys, we have waited seven hours <laughs> because it was pouring rain and so we went back to Lucky Land and now we are here. Luca is unloading. Unloading the scooters they weigh 33 pounds so they are easy to carry around also for me and they are easy to fold and unfold they can easily support an adult up to 275 pounds and uh, you can uh, take off the battery and recharge it in your house or leave it uh, on the scooter and you can charge it anyways uh, also yes. from the scooter without taking it off so that's really cool they look really sturdy and solid you can see some scooters they look like some toys little toys for yeah. kids these are proper scooters do you have a headlight and also ah. back here back here and when you break also there is the light when you break uh, yeah. it's uh, blinking really cool we have a monitor where uh, you can you can choose between three different speed options yes it is the first one is beginner mode then the second one is eco mode up to 10 miles per hour and then the fastest one is the red one the red that is the sports mode up to 20 miles per hour maximum range with the full battery it's 30 miles, 48 kilometers. Off we go! And 
bello This is super fun. After six seconds, after you maintain the same speed, you will go automatically in the cruise control mode. I was trying to race uh, Sara, but uh, what happened? I was going faster than you. <laughs> and Luca was so pissed. <laughs> Why are you going faster than me? <laughs> yes, uh, basically, I'm 10 kilos uh, heavier than Sara, and uh, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> How is the acceleration? It's really, really amazing. Uh, you can get from zero to high speed uh, in a few seconds. The only thing I would add in the future, because we have this really big display, but you don't know how many kilometers slash miles you have been riding. Yes, you only know so... your speed. Uh, you don't know. But it would be great to have this additional information. Yes, more, more, de more yes. information. Okay, do you want to race again? Yes, let's race again. Sara is taking over! Look at that! I won! I won! I won! We enjoyed the ride with the scooters, the electric scooters very much. So thank you again Turbo Ant if you want to check them out. You can find the link in the description below and there is also a 50 US dollars special coupon for you. So a special offer. Go and check it out uh, the description box below <laughs> the video. And now we will head back to Luigi. And here we are guys. We hope you enjoyed today's episode with the little garden tour of Lucky Land. We are happy to be back at Lucky Land. Back home. The delicious Italian pasta recipe with the tomato sauce, with sugo and the ride with our electric scooters. If so, please uh, smash the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's really important to us and it's free and you will support us. So thank you very much to everyone that is supporting this channel. Stay tuned because uh, next Sunday we will be starting a really huge uh, emotional The most exciting adventure of our lives The Italian words for today's video are Monopattino elettrico Electric scooter Pasta al sugo di pomodoro Pasta with tomato sauce Non perdetevi il prossimo video Don't miss the next video Monopattino elettrico. Electric scooter. Pasta al sugo di pomodoro. Pasta with tomato sauce. Non perdetevi il prossimo video. Don't miss the next video. So guys, we hope to see you next Sunday. We love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. Can't wait till the Sunday. Ciao. Good. Sorry. <laughs> As we promised, okay, we will show okay. you. As uh, we promised, we will show you. Good morning, beautiful people. As we promised, uh, we will. Promised. I put some uh, irrigation uh, system. I I put uh, an irrigation system. Uh. System. No system. Let's see the results. Scusa. In sorry. So we have to do some major transformation. When we once in a year, when Luca so cooks when, when Sara cooks, uh, <laughs> it's nice. everything better. You have me. And 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 and. Uh, and here we are, guys. We hope you. Done, so. Excuse me. Let me check how you do that. <laughs> we hope to be able to beat it. After six seconds. <laughs>